I would definitely give Marc Jacobs some more of my coins. Hey y'all, my name is Brittany Giselle and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I do everything from plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, reviews, different kinds of things. I do monthly favorites, all that. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button leave me some comments some likes i would really appreciate that today's video was highly requested i have gotten so many questions that i decided to do a review video on the tote bag here is the very well asked about tote bag she is a popular one i know a lot of people found my channel due to my initial video that I made about my Marc Jacob tote bag. I just wanted to do an unboxing, initial reactions, and that video did really good. A lot of people had questions. I have now had her for six months, and I have to say I have no complaints. I'm absolutely loving her. If you wanna know details, like about the price and the, the inside, what I can fit in it, make sure that you reference my last video because I did mention all of that there. I will make sure I have it linked down in the description and also linked above. Again, this is the Jacquard style Marc Jacobs tote bag and I love her so much. I just, I love it. So I've had her for, like I said, six months now. I said I was going to change the strap probably, but I never got around to purchasing a new one, which is okay because honestly i have been using her just as like a work bag i usually just keep my macbook air in here all of my notebooks my planner just very simple things like a table tripod i don't really use her as a purse when i say her i'm referring to her okay i yeah i literally i use her for just basic like just to carry my work stuff whenever i'm out editing at a cafe when I'm traveling and I need to take my laptop or my planners, my notebooks, my books, all of that stuff. That's really what I've been using her for. I have used her as like a regular bag, but that's kind of what it's, what I've concluded to. I really like it because it's a good material. It can handle the weight of all of those things. I can't, I don't have anything negative to say about it. Really, I dropped it one time and I think it was on this side. A lot of people have questions about the color. I honestly don't really see much of a color change. If you look deeply, you can probably see a few spots, but nothing that's like super noticeable. I'm gonna show you the bottom. There's really no marks on it. And then I'll show you the front. Honestly, there's nothing really like nothing that you can notice the inside is holding up so good like the structure of the bag the material it's made out of it's it's it, it's a hefty one okay it can hold a lot of stuff and i'm a type of person that i overpack so this bag is always full what i like about it so far the things the features that i really enjoy about it is the fact that it has a zipper because y'all know not many tote bags come with zippers that I love and then I love that the strap is adjustable so if I want to carry it on my shoulder I can do that and I've also had it like crossbody so that I really enjoy about it I like that it also has the handle because if it gets too heavy I don't necessarily want to put it on my shoulder or crossbody so I'll hold it like this or I'll like put it and hang it off on my elbow so I just like that it's functional in many ways I also really like that it has the interior pockets it has like one big pocket with a zipper and then two like little flaps so you can just slide things in being that i've been using this for work i really just like slide in my glasses in one pocket and then the other my pens or whatever else i have that could fit in there overall i really really love this bag in my last video i mentioned that i was probably going to look into like a scotch guard honestly i never did i never got around to it and six months later with pretty decent use i still don't necessarily see the need for it so i mean that's my choice that's something that you can do but i just never got around to it when i dropped it the one time it did have like a little all right so there is you can see it really up close you can see that there's like a little tiny black spot but honestly from far you can't even tell but that doesn't bother me i said i was so like <laughs> i wanted to cry when i dropped it because 
it had just rained it wasn't raining when i dropped it but it had rained so the floor the ground was still wet i dropped it outside and then it picked up that little black spot for some reason but besides that it really hasn't picked up much color the one complaint that i do have about the bag is the strap it kind of because of the material you can see like the wear and tear on it not really tear but you can definitely see the wear that it has but that honestly doesn't bother me and like i said the straps you can remove them you can purchase different styles of more jacob straps or if you have other straps that are similar and can fit on like the little hardware to you know if you can swap it out for a completely different strap that isn't Marc Jacobs and it fits, that's perfect. So I like that it's not stuck onto the bag. Overall, I give her a 10 out of 10. I love this bag. I have very minimal complaints about it. So I definitely recommend. I would, I can see myself purchasing another one of the Jacquard styles because I've seen like the regular canvas tote bags don't seem to have as much structure as this one from the reviews that I've seen and the ones that I've seen in person. But besides that, I really love it. I don't have many, neg like any negative things to say about it. Again, 10 out of 10, do recommend. If this bag is something that you've been eyeing for a while and you've been thinking about it, I would say go ahead and get it. You won't regret it. I have been looking at some other tote bags. I would definitely put more money in towards Marc Jacobs tote bags than other stuff. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But I would definitely give Marc Jacobs some more of my coins because she's a good one. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload, you will be the first to know. And if you enjoyed this review, please make sure you leave some comments down below. And I thank you all for stopping by my channel, watching this video, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.